Good morning, 651 Finger Lakes Morning News. Joining us in the studio, uh, many people know him as my broadcast partner on Hobart Lacrosse Broadcasts on WEOS down the street. Uh, David Mapstone, member of the 1990 National Championship Hobart Lacrosse team, and they went to the George H.W. Bush White House. Uh, good morning, how's it going? It's going well. The All band's right, so, back together. Yeah, the first thing is, I didn't know that D3 teams got the whole White House treatment. So how did that come about? Did the White House contact Hobart, or did somebody know somebody, or do you know? I, I You know, to tell you the truth, I don't know um, exactly how. I, I, I do believe that we did have some kind of connection there um, at the White House, either uh, a Hobart connection or a lacrosse connection. Because that was 90. That was before Mark Guerin, right? That was before so, Mark yeah. Guerin. Yep, exactly. Um, and I'm not sure exactly, if it, again, if it was a Hobart connection or if it was a lacrosse connection. Um, but if you see in the picture, there is a, a man standing next to Coach O'Hara. And I believe Coach knew him fairly well. So he might have been a Hobart guy. Um, and they were working closely with our communications office to, to coordinate the trip. It was a very last minute trip. We, we finished, uh, commencement that time, uh, of year. We, we finished up graduation in July. Um, and the seniors graduated in probably about a day later after commencement. Wow. Uh, we got a call from a coach and said, we're going to the White House to meet President Bush, be on campus in 24 hours uh, if you want to go. I've been outside the fence. I've never been in. What's that like to uh, get on the property and actually see the place? It's pretty. It's pretty incredible. It's a. It's a pretty surreal experience. Um, it's a beautiful, obviously a beautiful place. Uh, D.C. is just absolutely majestic, of course. Um, but as an 18-year-old, I mean, think about it. We we just won the national championship, and we're a, a, a band of bandits, and, and we're on a bus, and we're driving down to, to D.C., and it's, it's literally uh, probably an 18-hour trip. We, we were down and back in, in 18 hours, down and back in one day. Um, so we get down there. We leave at 5 in the morning from Geneva. We get down there. Um, we go through security and there was a, a few hiccups, uh, going through security <laughs> with some of the guys, but they ended up getting through, um, secret service let them through. Um, but then just to, to be on the grounds, um, and to be in the presence of, of greatness and, and history was just, uh, was really surreal, incredible, uh, especially for, for such young, impressionable men. So how long was uh, President Bush around? Um, he he was in and out pretty quick. So he uh, we were there uh, representing Division Three, and then Syracuse was there representing Division One. Oh. <laughs> uh, so he he came out to see us uh, first. Uh, Syracuse that that was our only loss that year, by the way. So Syracuse they were they were challenged gathered. into a game. No, we didn't. They were, <laughs> they beat us pretty good. That was when the Gate Brothers were playing. So uh, they were they were gathered on the other side of the lawn. Um, so they, uh, President Bush came to see us first, uh, spent a good 10 minutes with us, uh, shaking hands, uh, introducing himself to all the players, uh, cracked a few jokes, uh, and then stood for pictures. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we were with him for about 10 minutes or so. It was so who impressive. were some of the, uh, other than you, the key guys on that team that, uh, people would remember that are Hobart fans? Oh my gosh, geez. Uh, we just had, we had... Th- probably this was probably one of the best if not the best team i've ever played for played played with uh as far as teammates go um uh, we crack jokes all the time this was bj o'hara's first year coaching um after dave urick left to go to georgetown um and ted you could have coached this team (laughs) to a national championship easily um, we just had a, a stacked, stacked team. Our starting midfield, all three of them were all Americans. We had uh, Matt Kerwick, obviously Hobart, a former Hobart coach, all American. Mike D. Maria, uh, Hobart Hall of Fame, um, and we had Kurt Drury, who was a Canadian player, um, a box Canadian player, um, who played for us at at the midfield. Um, and then on attack, we had. Bill Miller, probably one of the best um, attackmen in Division Three of all time. Uh, we had Lance Savage, who was a, a real scrappy player who made his living on the crease. 
Um, and then Jeff Tambroni, who uh, I just saw, who we both just saw, right, right, the Hall of Fame into the Hall of Fame. Um, then we had Jacques Monty from Fairport High School. He was probably about 5'7", 195 pounds, short, squatty guy, all-state wrestler. He was our face-off guy. Uh, we had uh, Andy uh, Bender in goal. Uh, Pat Solomon was our backup goalie. Uh, Peter Bennett was one of our defenders. Chris Curvin, local Geneva guy, yeah. was, a, was a defender for us. Uh, Larry DiGiovanni. We, we just we, we were absolutely stacked. So what are these publications you got with you here? So, yeah, actually, uh, th- these um, were press guides that were published um, during the 80s and into the 90s. Uh, and they were handed out to, to different uh, media outlets. Um, and these were actually given to me uh, by uh, the late John Collins. Wow, wow. Yeah, exactly. I've got my, You've uh, got your my block, block H, H in here. the corner that yep, he did, exactly. one of the last ones, actually. Yep. So they're, uh, they're actually all scribbled on over here and uh, with, with scores on them from the 1990 oh, team. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, again, one, one loss uh, for that team. It was just uh, fantastic. And again, Ted, that was, those were the years when we were Division three, but half of our schedule was right. Division one. So looking down the schedule, um, you know, the, the, the regular crew of Division three teams, but at Division one, we played Arizona. We played uh, Syracuse, we played Penn State, we played Cornell, we played Michigan State, we played Ohio State, um, and uh, we, we beat everyone that year except for Syracuse, and Syracuse went undefeated their year as yeah. well. So, Well, we're about, uh, I don't know, just uh, right around two months, I guess, to opening day for the uh, next edition of the Statesman. It certainly feels like opening day right now. It's getting close, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, good to see you again. I didn't, uh, yeah. hadn't heard this story, and Greg told me about it, and yeah. thanks for coming in this early, the only slot we had this morning, and uh, no sharing problem. that story. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And David Mapstone, a member of uh, one of the many national championship teams at Hobart. It's 6.58 on the Finger Lakes Morning News.